<laughs> Yo, okay, here we go. Y'all, this is my first interview, so I want y'all to bear with me. So, today we got my cousin Jasmine. Jasmine, how you spell Jasmine? With a Z, right? Yeah, J-A-Z-M-O-N. It's Jasmine. That's how your mom spelled it? My dad. Okay. So, we got Jasmine Green. Okay, this is my blood cousin, y'all. This is my daddy, little brother, daughter. Okay? And basically, well, I'm going to let Jasmine tell I'm going I'm to let Jasmine tell y'all the story. She introducing herself, and I'm going to let Jasmine tell y'all the story. Okay, so Jasmine, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, 317. Uh, 317. What side is it now? South side. What side? Mm-hmm. It, it, it's a lot of, it's like, it's a lot of us left up there, like, in the nap, huh? Yeah, There's yeah. still a lot of family up there in the nap. Mm -hmm. They all on the south side of where, where they at in the nap. Shout out to Indian No, they on the east side now. On the east side? Yep, east and west. Shout out to the nap. Okay. So what year did you move? Okay, so you didn't originally come to Austin, Texas. You no. moved to where you to originally? To Houston. To Houston. How long was you in Houston? Uh, For about five years. You was in Houston for five years? Damn, that shit. Flew by. That shit flew. It did. Nah, for real. How long? Okay, so... You went from Houston to Austin, right? Yeah. How long y'all been in Austin? Two years. Two years, okay. Yep. If y'all don't know, this is the family that I moved down here with in Austin. I ain't know nobody in Austin till they called. Oh, um, okay. So, you moved to Austin. How did you have a boyfriend? You who did you move with? How did you get uh, to Austin? My family, my mom and them. Your mom. My mom, my daddy, my. Hold sister. on. How old is you? Twenty one. That's crazy. I don't even know my own cousin there. You 21? Yeah. Okay. I'm finna be 22 this year. Okay, 21. So y'all moved to Austin when y'all was, when you was what, 19? Mm, yeah. So that mean you moved to Houston when you was 14? Yeah. Damn. Okay. So that's why dude in Houston, okay, now it's starting to make sense now with, with, the, with, with uh, the other dude in Houston. Yeah. All right. So long story short, what we down here, what we here to get down to is, who is the baby's pappy? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. We playing who is the baby's pappy, y'all. We not playing this more so what, I already know. But. Well, we know. We know. Well, she, my cousin know who the daddy is. But, okay. So, I'm going to let her tell the story. Okay. So, uh, I've been here for over a year now. I moved down here with my baby mama. And we run into... Well, matter of fact, this is your story. How did you? Who do you know who the baby, the child of your father is? Yeah, I know who he is. Who is it? Who is it? His name? Well, he go by Don. I'm not gonna put his full name out there. You know what I'm saying? But he go by, he go Don. by Don. Where is he from? Uh, shit. I don't really know the city that he from. I know where he was born, but I don't know where he from. Okay, where? He's not from where he born. Where he was born? Where he was born? Um, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, so he's from Chicago, but he's staying in Austin. Yeah. How long he been in Austin? For about two years. Well, three now. Okay, two, three years. And how did you meet Don? Through my cousin, KP. <laughs> Through me. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> okay. All right, to be fair to KP, though, I told my cousin not to mess with him. But at the same time, my cousin grown, so I can't tell my cousin what to do. You know what I'm saying? I was kicking it with the dude, and every time I was going to go link up with him, she wanted to jump her ass in the car. Not every time. Well, let's put it like this. Not every time, because when he first uh, met Don, I wasn't coming around. I was staying in the house. Like, I really wasn't going out and shit. But then yep. I had broke up with my ex and shit, so I wanted to get outside. And I'm like, shit, he be going to his homie house or whatever, so I'm going to slide over there with him. Okay, so you know I gotta ask you the real raw questions because this a this gotta be it gotta be some juice to this interview. When you met Don, was he in a relationship? Yeah, he was with his baby mama. <laughs> his other baby mama. Alright, so tell them the story about how you met Don and his baby mama. Okay, so one night me, and my cousin, and his baby mama was going out and It's me and my we, baby uh, mama. We uh decided to invite Don as and his baby mama. 
well before i got there i was already drinking and shit so i'm already kind of lit and i was telling my cousin because he was talking to me about how his baby mama be treating the nigga and shit you know what i'm saying so i'm like shit he need a real bitch to come fuck with him hold on cuz let me set the play for him though <laughs> all right y'all so what she just said was me and my baby's mom was going out we invited my friend don and his baby mom out and then my cousin jasmine jumped in the back seat Jasmine says Don been telling her. Hold on, wait, wait. wait. No. When did he tell you that? He told. He didn't tell me nothing. Me and, well, this before me and my cousin was talking about them and how his baby mama be treating his ass and shit. Okay, okay. So I'm like, shit. Uh, if he cute, shit, I might hop on his ass. If he ugly, she can keep him. Is like what I said. When we got to the house and shit. Uh, <coughs> no, hold on, hold on. Let me straighten it up because this is going on the internet. We wasn't telling you how she was treating him or like she was treating me type of boy. What we was saying was folks be fuck folks got all these different hoes and be fuck with all these different hoes and still be good. And he was like, obviously he not happy with that bitch. Let me <laughs> let me make him happy. That's the type of time you was on. Cause so, I don't I don't remember him treating I don't remember him her. Nah, treating. it was just about how she was uh fucking with that old nigga. He was trying to, he was trying to be faithful to her, but whole time Shorty was fucking with her little sugar daddy or whatever. So. Oh my God. Hold on. Wait. So, man, hold on, cuz. This shit getting messy. I don't remember all this. <laughs> yeah, you hold don't on. remember anything, No, man. hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm saying, I don't, when did, how did you know all that and you had just met him in the car? So how did you even know? Oh, uh, you didn't even. my messy ass cousin. Hell no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Oh, no, I, wait, swear on, on, no. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, bro. Yes, bro. I, I didn't tell you. Man. So I told you all this before you met him. Yes, we was in the car talking man, about it. Man, you telling ass. me shit? I didn't even know. I didn't even. Didn't I know. did, cuz I didn't know. All right, come on. We're going to keep going. All right, so I was, I was being messy telling you what I was exactly. telling you. Exactly. He was being right. messy <laughs> telling me, fuck. No, like, we going we gonna to spill the road. We're going to spill it. And that's just being messy. Okay, so what happened? All right, hold on. Okay, so you, you, it's all five of us. I remember that night too. We went out to eat and everything, right? Okay, so tell the story. Go ahead. So we pull up to uh, Buddy Crib, and my cousin, his baby mama, walked in first. I was the last person to walk in. And when his baby mama seen me, she immediately introduced her nigga to me. Like, this is Donald. And I'm like, bitch, I don't even know your name. I mean, excuse my language. Girl, I don't even know your name. Why would you introduce your nigga to me? <laughs> you should have introduced yourself. But. When I first met him, I felt like they was, I personally, I wasn't going to mess with him because I just felt like he was weird. I just felt like he was weird, him and his baby mama. They was weird the whole night. But what made me fuck with the nigga is because <laughs> she did some little slick shit in the car to me. So I'm like, shit, you think I want your nigga? I'm going to show you I can get your nigga then. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, but, no, wait, what was the slick shit she did? Uh, <laughs> We up in the car drinking. <laughs> And her, uh, her nigga get the, uh, trying to talk to me and shit. And nonchalantly, like, I ain't really trying to talk to him. I'm like, boy, anyways, like, go the fuck on. I ain't trying to talk to you type shit. Mm -hmm. She get the, we start conversation. We start conversating and shit. She get the patting on my leg, laughing, like, sarcastically. Like, bitch, stop talking like nigga. So I took her hand off my motherfucking leg and I told her, uh-huh, uh-huh, you fake as hell. Ah, the hell? Hold on, so she was mad because you was talking to Don. Yeah, she was mad because her nigga was over there having a fun so time. So, hold on. Okay, so me and, me and my baby mom was in the front seat. Yeah. How was y'all lined up in the back seat? You was Okay, in, she, you Don was, was on the left side behind the driver's seat. Okay, he was His behind His baby me. mama was in the middle, and I'm behind uh, my cousin baby mama seat, the passenger side. Okay, so his girl is in the middle. Yeah. And then y'all is on opposite sides of the back seat. Yeah. Okay, so now we... What happened that night? Uh, should we just kicked it? Um, after that, she pissed me off, and I told my cousin like before we even went into um, was that bombshells? I think. Yeah. Before we even went, to, I told my cousin, bro, they weird as hell. I ain't finna fuck with y'all. I really smacked shit out, shorty. Like, right. You feel me? She was blowing me. So we chilling whatever. She get mad because we having a conversation. <laughs> we having a conversation about robbing the bank, and we said, Nah, y'all. <laughs> You don't want shorty drive because she gonna leave your ass at the bank. Oh god! Uh, you feel me? So she getting mad. Okay, so shit. fast forward. Okay, hold on. All right, now fast forward. Okay, lost her story. We, we we leave from bombshells and we going to go drop. We going to go drop. Yeah, cause she's ready to go home, so she wanted to get dropped off. But buddy, ass said he ain't going home. Okay, so we pull up. 
she say, I'm going in the house. Yeah. I, I, how I took it when she said, I'm going in the house, she was saying, me and him yeah. going in the house. Let's go. Yeah. He was like, He's like I ain't going with you. I ain't going with you. Take your ass in the house. <laughs> Literally, that's what the nigga said, though. And she looked at him and just took her ass in the house. And I'm like. And so I was just sitting I? there like, damn. So what happened when she got out the car? Uh, he get in the car. He gets time to conversate with me. Shit, we conversating. How long did it take? How long did it take me after she got out the car? Two seconds. <laughs> Literally two seconds. Like it didn't even take a full two ten minutes. We didn't even get out the parking lot. I ain't put the car in parking. <laughs> we didn't even get out the parking lot before Buddy Eyes was on shit. And I'm telling him like he, he was what he was doing. He just what's up with you and shit. Okay, let me just clear this up. For a lot of people, they think I'm Mexican. I am not Mexican. He thought it was a pickup line to be like, I ain't never fuck with a Mexican girl. And I'm like, you still ain't because I'm not Mexican. What are you? What? I'm black and white. Your, your daddy, my, my uncle's black. That's your dad. Mama is white. And his, his, his child's mom is white. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? He tried to do that. So we start the conversation off of that. And then he's just talking to me and I'm telling him like, I just got out of a relationship and shit. And I, I don't really fuck with lames. Like I, told, I don't really like fucking with lame niggas. Like, that's just not what I do. Okay, so long story short, did you guys exchange numbers? Did y'all kiss? Did y'all do anything that night? Uh, I think we kissed. I think okay. we kissed. And you got his but number? But other than that, I didn't get his number. I got his number like, um, I think like you got two his number. weeks later from my cousin. I ain't gonna cap, cuz. I'm gonna just keep it 100 for, for, the, for the world. After that night... You talked about Don 24-7 for like two weeks straight. Every I day did, you woke I up. Did. Every day you woke up, you was talking about him. I did. No but, cap. We we gonna be real. I did. <laughs> I did. Every I did. Cause and, and, I ain't fulfilled my mission yet. Every I swear to God. Every so day. I did. Hey cuz, did you talk to Don? I definitely did. You seen Don? When you gonna go pull up on Don, I'm going with you. <laughs> no I'm like, cap. God damn. No cap. She talking uh. about, but shit, when you like somebody, you like somebody. Yeah. But now you don't like him no more. No, I didn't like him since the first time we had sex. I mean, I've doubled back twice, but... You know, I got to keep I, it real. I, I didn't really like him after, like... Because after we had sex the first time, he was on, like, some weird... I don't do weird shit. He was on some weird shit, like... Hold on, cuz. All right, so you know I got to keep it real with the viewers. Okay, so y'all didn't do nothing that night. When did y'all actually wind up doing what y'all did? Um, It was probably, probably, like, two, maybe three weeks after I met him the first time. Right. Uh, How did that happen? Come on, cuz. We got to tell him the truth. We uh we pulled up. His baby mama was at work, I think. Ooh! We, <laughs> we pulled up. Damn. Damn. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> this shit juicy. Hold on. They gonna see this shit and be shitty. But hey, listen, Shorty. Hit I ain't got no beef. <laughs> I ain't got no problem, Shorty. Hold on. Okay. So his baby mama was at work. Yeah. And. Damn. I ain't shit. Okay. <laughs> So his baby mom was at work. He tell me to pull up. I'm with my girl. My cousin Jasmine just jumping the back. See, did we know that his? Yeah, we knew. Yeah, his. we knew his baby mom was gone. Oh man! So my cousin went over there with the intentions to crack this man. Well, no, not with the intentions to crack him. I just went over there to go, you know, what I'm saying, chill, buddy, chop it up type shit. He really started that shit like the night that night. He what, really what, did. What time did we pull up? Probably like. I'd say about like 8 30, 9 o'clock at night. Oh, his girl do she was working third shift. Yeah. She was working so third she was young. shift. Yeah. So we was in her house. Yep. And he I, was there with his son. He was there with his son. Y'all was playing with his son. His son was obsessed with me. Oh my me. god. That little baby. <laughs> oh for real, that little baby, he would not leave me alone. Like 24-7 was on me. I'm so like, oh, son, you got your daddy taste. <laughs> You ain't right. Uh, what? All right. Okay. Okay. okay so let's let, let's set the play up on. Okay. So I'm sleep. <laughs> I'm sleep <laughs> on the couch with my baby mama. And you and Don, y'all was on the floor. When I fell asleep, y'all was right there on the floor. And then, yeah. And then what happened? Um, we were sitting there chilling, talking or whatever, and we talking about massaging. He was like, "Shit, uh, I need a massage. I've been working and shit. My back hurts." So I'm like, "Shit, I can give you a massage." So I get the massage in his back and shit. We talking or whatever. And I'm like, at first I really wasn't on, but I'm like, shit, it is what it is. So I so I uh 
I'll wake my cousin up like, hey, cuz, you got a uh, condom in the car? He like, uh, he get the laughing out my ass. He like, yeah, I got one. He told me, <laughs> told me where that motherfucker was. I go down there, I get it, I come back. Long story, we had sex. After we had sex, he tried to like be on some weird shit. So I get to treat him like, nigga, what the fuck? Anyways. So after that, I come out the room and I'm like, man, I'm ready to go. Like he just blew me. Like y'all ready? How he blew you? Ready. Because I forget what it was. Oh, I think he was taking too long in the bathroom or something. I'm like, shit. We... I'm like, what are you doing? He get the like talking out the side of his neck. So I said, his ass, nigga, who the fuck are you talking to? Damn. I said, anyways, it's so weird ass song. That's what I tell him. <laughs> <laughs> so he walk out the room thinking everything cool. Boy, nothing's cool. Like, fuck you, hey, weird as hell. Do you care? You, you, I ain't gonna tell my son. I ain't gonna tell my son. I'm just gonna let that lie. Because it was funny, my perspective. Okay. It might have been funny to everybody, but it, I was shitty. Let's just nah. go like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so if you were shitty, I'm gonna leave it alone then. All right. Okay, so. Boom. Was that the day that your daughter was conceived? No. Okay. No, she was conceived. So hold on. Y'all like, kept messing around. This was a repeated thing. Yeah, like, we only had sex three different occasions. The third time is when my daughter was conceived. Three different occasions. Yeah. So, so when was the time that your daughter was conceived? Uh, I had invited him over. I invited him because at this time I got his phone number and stuff. So I invited him out with us because me, my cousin, my sister, her girlfriend, his baby mama, we all was going out that night. We was waiting <laughs> on my sister to get done with her last little few grades or whatever so we could all head out. I invited him and his baby mama. Now, mind you, I'm like, shit, you and your baby mama could come out with us. I ain't on no, no, you feel me? I ain't on nothing. At the end of the day, that's your nigga. I, I already did what I wanted to do, you feel me? That's your nigga. Damn. I'm just trying to be cool. Hold on, so yo, you and his baby mama was still communicating? Nah, I ain't never talked to his baby mama. I was just talking to him, like, you feel me? But Shorty already knew me and her nigga, me and her nigga fucked. Like, the second time I went over to their house, Shorty already knew. The way Shorty was looking at me and shit, I her already knew. Her son knew you. You can't. You you came back over. Her son knew you. <laughs> you was all comfortable. Feet kicked up. Took your you shoes off. Me? Nah, but shoes had to come out. Everybody's shoes was off. But nah, Shorty just knew. It's just I know a female. I'm a female. Shorty knew automatically. She knew the vibe. Shorty already knew. She caught the vibe because probably as soon as you shit, walked in, he probably but, like his energy probably changed as soon as you walked in. But at the end of the day, he tried to say that like he tried to say that he ain't want me coming back over there because he ain't want. He thought I wanted him. That's the point. He thought I wanted... I did not want you, nigga. I just wanted to fuck. That's it. I didn't want you, you feel me? I ain't on none of that. Oh, this bitch thinks she better. I want her, nigga. No, I was not on none of that, nigga. That's your female. That's your nigga. I don't care about none of that. I got my own shit going on. So, I invited him and his baby mama out. He brought himself. He didn't bring his baby mama. He just brought himself. I invited him up to the house and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want him sitting out, outside in the car waiting. So I invited him to my house. Met my mama and shit. He being all friendly. He tried to say some uh We was having a conversation. My mama like, uh, he like, we all family up here. My mama said, nigga, you ain't no family. And I looked at him. I said, what, what are you talking about? He's talking about not yet. I said, what you mean not yet? He said, not yet. Yeah, that's what he said. Not so yet. So he, he manifested it right there. Not yet. And get the last time. I said, what do you mean not yet? You're never going to be. Exactly what I told him. You're never going to be. We and I remember that night too because I was knocked out. We end up getting I'm drunk as hell going downstairs having sex in the car. Fast forward, I stopped talking to him after that night because he got on some like weird stuff. He had too much drama with females and stuff. I'm like, I don't have time for none of that. Like, y'all delusional. So, I cut him off, blocked him and shit. I'm like, nigga, I ain't fucking with you. I went to Houston, did my thing. I found out I was pregnant June 26th. You went to Houston, what you mean? You went to Houston and did your thing. What does that mean? I went and fucked with my ex. So, immediately after you got your heart broke by Don, you went back to your ex in Houston. Yeah, like two weeks. Two, three weeks later. So, you was over there with your ex, me. I went down there with my but ex. But, be shit. honest. You wasn't just fucking with your ex. You fucked somebody else while you was over there, too. Yeah. Okay. But that person, we used a condom, you feel me? Okay. But, uh, yeah, so I started fucking with my ex and shit. I found out I was pregnant uh, June 26th because my period wasn't right at the end of May. So, I waited all the way until my next period still start and then start. So, I took a pregnancy test. That motherfucker said positive. Mm. I said, mm, you gotta be lying. Damn. <laughs> you feel me? So, at first, I'm kind of, like, skeptical because I'm like... 
I don't want to have sex with this nigga and I had sex with this nigga. Like, the fuck going on? So, I told my mama and them right beforehand because they asked me, like, who did daddy? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <coughs> it got to be between my ex and Don. But so, you can't, you can't out take the third person out because you never know the condom might have broke. Well, okay. yeah, but so. once once I went to the doctor, see, I didn't tell nobody I was pregnant. Only my family knew. I didn't tell no nigga that I fucked that I was pregnant until I went to the doctors and found out how far along I was. When I, and I told my before him, I said, you if I'm seven weeks knew. pregnant, yeah, I said, if I'm seven weeks pregnant, it's done, baby. I went, I was seven weeks and six days pregnant. I said, oh, yeah, buddy, it ain't nobody but yours. I was missing with him from the middle of March all the way to the beginning of May. Right. It couldn't have been nobody but yours. Right. So I called him after I went after the next day after I came from the hospital. I called him and I'm like, uh, I'm pregnant. And he like, Well, what that got to do with me? It ain't mine. I said, uh, It is yours, 100. percent It's yours. He gonna try to tell me to get an abortion. So I cussed his ass out. And, and to, hold on. To be fair, I'm gonna say this real quick. This is right what he said. He said get an abortion. And then you, you basically, you said you you can't get an abortion. Yeah. I'm and he like, said, well, if you don't get rid of the baby, I hope you know I'm not doing nothing. That's exactly what he said. I'm like, damn. Pretty much. Nah, this thing, he didn't really say that shit. All, he was on the phone like, nah, we just trying to do deny it. I use the condom. I said, no, you didn't. Right. He said, well, you better get an abortion. I said, first of all, nigga, you can't get an abortion. Second of all, fuck Facts. you talking about, nigga. I don't need shit from you. All I wanted you to know that you had a baby on the way. Facts. He like shit, basically, and I hung up on him. So after that, I did not talk he, to that he man. Said, he said he did say if you have that baby, I'm not doing nothing. Well, he didn't tell that to me. He might have told that to my cousin or whoever the fuck else, but he definitely didn't tell that to me. Yeah. Um, I didn't talk to him since three months when I was three months pregnant. I ended up getting. I had texted him like, "So you still gonna ignore me and shit?" I'm like, "Uh, all I wanna know is if you'll get a DNA test when I had the baby." I didn't get a text from him. I got a text from his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend, whoever she is. Anyways, we're going to skip that part. But <laughs> how about I lost my fucking brain? Uh, um, but yeah, I ended up getting a text message from his girlfriend talking about how they done broke up because she done found out he got hecky kids out here that he trying to make every girl that he done got pregnant get an abortion and stuff. And I'm just like... I ain't talked to him. I still ain't talked to him. Uh, I ended up talking to him after I had my daughter. Like, I had my daughter December 31st. I got a hold of him January 9th. He was still on bullshit. The nigga told me it ain't his problem, that it ain't his baby. And I said, okay, well, what's what's hard about getting a DNA test? Nothing. I'm going uh, to get up with you when I get up with you. I'm like, all right, when is that? He told me he was out of town. I said, okay. Cool. I waited for like two weeks, called him back. You had like, the baby already? Yeah, I've been having my baby. Okay. I called him back. I'm like, yo, what's up? You made it in town yet? He get to going off out the mouth out, out the mouth and stuff. Like, I told you when I get back. I said, okay, so when are you gonna get back? Like another week or two. So I'm like, damn, another week or two? Like, nigga, it already been two goddamn weeks. And whole time you're in Round Rock, nigga. You're 40 minutes away from where I'm at. Like, let's be honest. So I left it at that, whatever. He blocked me. I left it at that. <laughs> Um, my cousin ended up getting in, getting in contact with him. Yep. Found out that he was at his mama house, and mind you, I was gonna pop up at his mama house. You feel me? I was gonna do all that extra shit, but I'm like, I'm really not an extra ass female. Like, I want to do this as cordial as I can. Thanks. You feel me? I ain't really trying to be on all that. That's not what I'm on, nigga. I think that I want you to be in your daughter's life, so I'm really not trying to be on that. And I find out he was there. Uh, like two three weeks later. He ended up, uh, we ended up pulling up over there, and he seen her for the first time. He didn't really say nothing. He ain't want to hold her. He ain't want nothing. He just want to look at her. Did all that. He ended up telling my cousin that she don't look like him. Mm. But she don't look like me. Mm. She got your whole face. Mm -hmm. This is you, buddy. This she, ain't me. She definitely looked just like you, bro. <laughs> She, definitely she, she looked like she looked like him I'm not definitely gonna lie. i'm sorry she did it ain't no denying it's her, no baby. denying her and, Fuck, trust, it ain't no and, denying and her. trust and believe me this 
I've tried with my ex. I tried to see if it was his. It's not his. When I look at her, all I see is him. Okay, so hold on. So have you issued out any DNA test? No, I've been trying to get a DNA test and he won't take it. I'm talking about from any of the two. No, I ain't, I mean the nigga ain't using. He want to do the DNA test, but I'm I ain't made it. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm not gonna. I'm keeping this one thousand. I'm I'm dropping this. I'm sending this to Don. I'm getting Don okay. interview, and I want to interview Chris. I mean, okay. I got to interview Chris, too. Let okay, me, hold on. So, tell him about Chris. Yo, okay, yo guy, Chris is my ex. I've been messing with him for about, since I was 18 years, well, 17 and a half, 18. Uh, we got together, like, a week or two before my 18th birthday. Uh, I've been messing with him since then. Uh, we broke up. We've been broken up for about two years. Um, he's a very slow nigga. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, so what, um, what does Chris say about, how, how does Chris feel about the baby? He feels because like while the baby. He, while y'all was going through this, Chris was in Houston and you was in Austin. Yeah. So you was in Austin messing with Don while Chris was back in Houston. Yeah. When you got your heart broke by Don, you went straight back to Chris in Houston. Yeah. And so now you wind up pregnant. And how did Chris feel when he when he found out you was pregnant? Uh, he tried to say the baby was his, and <laughs> I try to tell him like it's not because the dates add up, but it's not your baby. But he's adamant and he wants a DNA test, and I'm like. So Chris wants to be the father. Yes, he wants to be the daddy. It, 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 what did he say? He said even if the baby ain't his, he, he still want to be the daddy. Oh, we gotta meet the. I like Chris. No, we gotta meet don't. Chris. See, this we is gotta a facade. Meet Chris. People don't understand. <laughs> this is a facade. I've dealt with this man for four years. I know him in and out. This is a facade. All he wants is me. He don't care about nothing else. He wants me. And he wants me being like I don't want that. It sounds like he wants you and whatever come with you. Yes, he do. He do. And he always going to. But I, there's more stuff to the story than what I'm telling you. But the facts is the facts. You know that's not his baby. Yeah, I know. I know 100%. And like I said, what woman would I be to sit here and try to say a baby is yours knowing deep down in my soul, I know this is not your baby. Well, y'all, that's the wrap for episode one. We going to get the... We gonna, I, I'm going to reach out to Don, see if I can get his perspective. I'm going to reach out to Chris in Houston, see if I can get his perspective. <laughs> I'm going to come get both of their interviews. We're going to issue our DNA test. And we're going to find out who is the pappy. Uh, what's my baby What's my baby cousin's name? Merlia. Merlia. What's the full name? Merlia Renee Caroline Green. Merlia. 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 Uh -huh. Renee Caroline. Renee Caroline. Yup. Yeah, y'all. So, stay tuned in. Y'all rock with Jasmine. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Do what? Or do y'all think she should rock with Chris? Do y'all think she should leave that nigga Don alone and just focus on Chris? Or do, Because at the end of the day, that baby do got to know where it come from. It do needs to know its actual bloodline. So Definitely. do y'all think she should thug it out and keep trying to reach out to Don? Or should she just leave it alone and, and start messing with Chris? What y'all think, man? Let me know in the comments.